So hello and welcome back to another Australian banknote video. Yeah, bloody oath, mate. So in today's video, we're looking at the 1996 Australia test notes. So the Australian test notes, they have the second prefix. So the first prefix, A, is the same as all the standard notes that they issue for circulation. But the second letter is N to Z. So any of these, so this is P, so that is after N. So that is a test note. And as you can see, I have, I've got four. Uh, most of these are all in pretty good condition. So if we look at the Reserve Bank of Australia banknote website, so here's all the serial numbers, 96. And what $100, they start from AA. And they go to uh, JK. So as you can see, EM is the last prefix in the standard series. So you go down to AN to CS96. Uh, and the signatures are the same. Or Fraser Evans. So they're the ones you're looking for. And as you can see, there's only about... 350,000 of each prefix. And the first and last prefix has the same number. Unlike the standard banknote, you can see there's only about 250,000 of the last prefix for JK. And the first prefix had 950,000. So that's quite a lot of banknotes. And then we've got the other denominations that we issued for uh, 1996, which is pretty much all denominations of the same serial number so this was the last banknote issued in circulation and if we look down below test notes issued for trial of static free substrates so a and a z b and b z c and c s so i'm not too sure what the actual substrate is um but if we, so I've got a 96, I've got a 98, uh, the substrate for the 98, yeah, it feels pretty, pretty much the same as uh, these static free ones. So what I mean static free means it doesn't carry an electric charge. So if you rub it, sometimes you get an electric shock, that's a static. So that's what that means. So this is probably designed so the banknotes don't stick together, which they can do. And maybe they issue this substrate for any other denominations. I don't know. So these banknotes have Sir John Monash, who was a general during the First World War. So that's why you've got Simpson and his donkey. You've got the light horse. You've got the Anzac badge of the light horseman. So they're mobilised infantry. And we have a an old... Uh, Cannon that was drawn by a horse. So they don't use that type of artillery anymore. As you can see, serial numbers. Uh, so this one's green. That one's a bit like a, a brownish colour. And on this side we have um, Dame Mellie Melba. She was an opera singer. And these two people passed away in 1930. So that's quite a long time ago. How much? Yeah, it's 90... 93 years ago, wow. So we have a liar bird, we have the coat of arms in the window. Now there is UV, but I can't find my UV lamp, so I can't show that. And this is Melly Melba in a dress, and with the typical hairstyle of the 20s. So that's what those banknotes are. So if we do a quick calculation, uh, so what we need to do, so we're just going to see how many of these banknotes were issued for circulation. Okay, that's the wrong pin. Okay, so we've got a calculator. And ANCS, so you've got N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. So you've got 13. 13 plus 6. So you've got 13. Times two equals 
Okay, no, it doesn't equal 46. Okay, 26 plus 6, yeah, 32 times. Okay, so we got 32. So that's the four letters. So how we work out how many notes we got? We got 9, 9. Okay, that's uh, 999,000. No, go back. Minus, okay, 648,001. So that gives us, for each prefix, you've got 351,998 banknotes issued. So then we times that by 32. That gives us a total of 11,263,963 banknotes. So... 11.2 million of these banknotes were produced and so they shouldn't be too hard to get like the 98 prefix uh, is okay 98 hundred dollar banknote yeah about half a million each but combined it should probably be the same but the last prefix is harder to get for some reason. So if we look at the Renix catalog fairly quickly. So these values have gone down in the last five years. Uh, like this one used to be 700. So if we get out the 2016 catalog, you could see that there is a change in the actual banknote value. So the top one is 2016, as you can see, uh, general prefix $150. And general prefix has gone down to 110. If we look at the uncirculated, okay, the first and last prefix has gone down a bit in the lower grades, in the higher grades. Uncirculated got 850 now, but previously it was a thousand dollars. So that's a reduction of 150. Uh, almost uncirculated, 680, but now they're about 400. And EF, 360, 220, and very fine, 210, and now we have uh, 135. So, here we are looking at what we define as uh, the grade, so very fine, a circulated banknote with folds and signs of wear, reasonably crisp, EF, pleasant looking banknote, evidence of handling, may have three like vertical folds, one heavy fold. So most of the banknotes I've got are probably VF condition. Okay, well circulated note, showing many creases. So fine and very fine can probably be expanded in the grade. So that that's uh, those two are very broad so they need to be broken up uh, for banknotes I think in the United States they have because these EF almost in circulate and circulate have a, a more of a refined so they are more narrow in their scope of what the grade represents so uh, according to that, so these ones, they have many folds, so it's probably very fine. So how many folds have we got in it? One, yeah, two, three, four, yeah, got more than three. So that one will be classed as very fine. So then we have an AS, and once again, we have many folds, one, two, yeah, looks like three. They look light. Does it have any more? It has more here. So that one will be classed as very fine as well. Uh, just based on the folds. Then we have this one. AV. Obviously damage there. Once again very fine. The pinholes. So that one's a lower grade as well. So this one's in the current market. Only worth about $130 each. If you're going to sell them on eBay, it's just really not worth it. Not with all the fees that you'll be paying. You'll be paying probably at least 16, 17% 
uh, on these banknotes. But this one here is quite good. So this is a uh, does have some damage there. So this one's probably EF to almost uncirculated. And as you can see, it's uh, in pretty good condition. So this one's probably about two to three hundred dollars, which is uh, according to the banknote catalog. What you need, you need to be conservative with the banknote catalog. So what was it again? It was yeah, two twenty. So you probably talk about one hundred and fifty for an EF, and probably about two hundred for an almost uncirculated. So. Um, this one is good to keep, I would say. In the long term, probably not. No, you know, this has probably lost you know, more than double its value. Uh, this could probably buy in 1996 what $250 can buy now. But these ones here, in this condition, uh, probably not really worth keeping or even selling on uh, eBay unless you can get about $150 for them anyway I hope this helps you with your banknotes and coin catalog so this is not investment advice just uh, what I think is really worth keeping and worth not in the long term uh, these ones are not really worth keeping not in that grade only in almost uncirculated or uncirculated condition is it worth keeping in uh, this grade it's if you want to sell them now, and you can, yeah, that's great. But if you want to keep it for 10 to 20 years, no, you're just going to lose value on these banknotes. Like someone in 1996 would have lost a lot of value if they actually kept them till now. Anyway, just remember, sometimes cash is trash. Thank you and goodbye.